Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the best class. Today we are going to start a new topic, and the topic name is letters. So, if I ask you what is letter, then what will be your reply? Don't know. It's so very easy. So, what is letter? Letter is what written or printed message. That will be sent to someone or somebody. In letter, we express or we convey the message. Whatever we want to express, that we can write. All right. So in English grammar, there are two kinds of letter, basically. So the first one is what formal letter, and the second one is what informal letter. Informal, like in the case of this formal letter, there are various kinds of letter that we can keep in this category, like the official letters on what the complaint letter also, like when we write a letter to the actor, that is also what example of formal letter. The next one is what business letter. Sometimes we have to write also the business letter. So business letter is also an example of what formal letter. Now the next one is what application, most important. So we most of the time we have to write the application. All right. So this is also application is also example of what formal letter. Now come to the informal letter. So whenever we write a letter to our father or any uh, to any relative, then it is what informal letter. We write a letter to our father, to our mother, uncle, or friends. If we if you are writing a letter to your friend, then also we can keep this letter in this informal category, like informal type of letter. Now the question is that. Who are we to write the formal letter? So it is very important to understand the meaning of the formal letter. So it's very easy to understand when we will write the formal letter and when we will write the informal letter. You know, if there is relation for that, you need to understand the relation. What kind of relation you have whom you are writing a letter? Suppose that if you are writing a letter, if you want to write a letter to your uncle, then what kind of relation you have? Because your uncle is your relative. So you have your personal relation or it is a more informal kind of relation. So if you are getting, if you get informal relation, then you will write what? Informal letter, like the relation between the daughter and the father, the relation between son and mother, the relation between grandfather and uh, what grandmother. These all are what informal relation. All right. Now come to the formal relation. The relation between teacher and student. The relation between boss and uh, staff. The relation between principal and teacher. These are the example of formal relation. All right. So if you get, if you see that there is personal relation, then you will write what informal letter because informal letter is also known as what personal letter. But if there is what formal relation, then you will always write formal letter. All right. Now come to the next important point. It is very really important to understand how to write the formal letter. So, I am going to be to understand the context of application because in exam, it is very common. It is very common question. So, at first, we will see here the important parts of formal letter. Important parts of Formal letters. All right. Right now I am talking about what application. The first one is what heading. First one is what heading. Second one is what salvation. Third one is what body of letters. 
and the last one is what subscription all right subscription celebration body of letter and letter and what subscription here it is what celebration all right so i am going to tell you what the right in heading part I am giving you example of application which is which comes in what formal letter. So in there is a more that you are spoken, you are told to write an application to the principal of your college or the school, requesting her to grant you two days sick leave. How you will write? In order to write the application properly, it is very very important to understand the different. So the heading part, the first part that we have to write is what heading part. So in heading part, we will write the what only, and then we will put in a comma, then the principle. E R I N C I P A L. Alright. Now again, we will put in a comma, then we are going to form a new verb in the topic. Okay. 
Either one you can write here. This is a good way to write in the subscription. Yours obediently or yours sincerely. And after that, you have to write your name, roll number. Sorry, name, class, roll number. Okay. But if we are writing this application in the examination room, okay, then in place of uh, name, roll number, and class, you will not write your actual name, you will write there X, Y, Z. Alright. But if you are writing this letter in a real life, then you have to mention there your name, your roll number, etc. Okay. Then add the and. Okay, just after writing this, after giving your detail like name, class, section, uh, roll number, add the and on the left hand side, you will write the date. Suppose that today is what? Whatever date is today, we will mention and the bottom on the left hand side. It is very, very important to write the date at the end of the application. So, this is the basic difference between what the Formal letter and the informal letter. Like if you notice uh, the informal letter, then what do we do? We at first write at the top of the letter, the left hand side, what the sender's address. And just after writing the sender's address, we write the date. Alright, but what about the application? What about the formal letter? In case of formal letter, especially in what application, we always write date at the bottom. Form, but in case of personal letter, we always write date just after the sender's address. So this is the basic difference between the formal letter and the informal letter in writing pattern. Okay, and uh, next time I will give you one example, one model example of what this one formal letter. And once uh, come once I will once complete this formal letter. Uh, then I will let you know about the informal letter. So thank you very much for listening to so this is today. See you again in next class. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.